love it if God so loved us we also I'd love 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 one another love 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 one another love 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 one another Well, Happy New Year, everyone. Our new year has begun, 2021. Everyone say 21. That's right, a new year. And that verse we just looked at uh, at the start there was, if you might remember, before we began our Christmas series, which we've done, that was the last verse that we looked at in Promised Land that speaks of God's amazing love for us and how we are then to love, love, love one another. And so today, I want us to think again about the wonderful love of God. But what I also want us to do right now is to think about as we start a new year, what things do you want to do this year? Have you got plans? Sometimes we start a new year and we think, yes, this year I want to do this, that or the other. So we're going to start by getting into groups, the, those that you're with right now, and talking about this question. What things would I like to do this year? So share with one another some of your thoughts on that.
Okay, well maybe you came up with some ideas then in the moment, maybe you already had ideas. Now what I want you to do is do something for me. I want everyone to stand up. Come on, stand up. I know you don't want to, you've been eating all that food over Christmas, but stand up. All right, everyone standing? Now, ready? I want you to turn around twice. Off you go. And now I would like you to go and touch a door. Go. Okay, very good. Now I want you to go and touch a window. Go. And now I want you to go and touch two cushions if you can. All right, and now I want you to stand on one foot and hop twice. One, two. Very good. And everyone shake like this. Great. Now we're going to watch a short video which speaks of the love of Jesus. So that video helped us to think about and introduce the idea of Jesus love and how we can be those that love other people in different ways. So we had a question earlier which was what things might you want to do this year? Now I want you to explore another question together and it's this. What things do you think Jesus would want you to do this year? So talk about that. What things do you think Jesus would want you to do this coming year? And then once you've talked about that, I want you to answer another question, which is, and how do you think Jesus might want you to do those things? Or how could you do those things? So have a chat now about that.
Great, well I do hope you were able to come up with some ideas then about what you think Jesus would want you to do in the coming year and maybe even made some plans as to how you could do those things in the coming weeks and over this coming year. Okay, now it's time, yes, first time in 2021, it's game time! Today's game is, well, a challenge, and it's again on this theme of love, and the challenge is this, don't start yet, but when I tell you to, you can start. Within the time that you've got, I want you, using the things that you can find around you, to create a big heart shape on the floor, and the idea is that you build a big enough heart shape on the floor, an outline of a heart, using anything you can find around you, books, toys, cushions, whatever. But once you've made your heart, you've then got to be able to fit inside it. So you've got to lie down inside it and then perhaps have someone, your mum or your dad, take a picture of you inside that heart. If there's a few of you, then you can each take it turn to have your picture taken inside the heart. Or if you want to make the challenge even greater, if there's more of you, you could try and make a big enough heart to fit all of you inside. So I'll leave it up to you whether it's one or many fitting inside. But you've got about three minutes to do this challenge. So ready, steady, go! So I hope you got to make some big hearts then and as we know the Bible is all about the love, the love of Jesus and 
in the New Testament particularly, we really understand about that. And in the Gospel of Mark, we hear Jesus say some very important words where he says, what people are asking, what is the greatest commandment, Jesus, was the most important thing? And Jesus says, love the Lord your God and then love others. So we're going to hear these words now from Jesus from Mark chapter 12 in a song that you can learn because these are our memory verses for this week. So you might want to stand up, do the actions to help you learn these wonderful and important words. Mark 12, 30 and 31. God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind and with all your strength. The second is this, love your neighbor as yourself. Love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind and with all your strength. The second is this, love your neighbor as yourself. There is no commandment greater than these. There is no commandment Love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind and with all your strength. The second is this, love your neighbor as yourself. Love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind and with all your strength. The second is this, love your neighbor as yourself. There is no commandment greater than me. 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 There is no commandment greater than your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind. There is no commandment greater than this love your neighbor as yourself. There is no commandment greater than your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind. There is no commandment greater than this love your neighbor as yourself. There is no commandment greater than your heart. So how did you get on learning those verses? Do you think you know them? I'm going to give you your 45 second challenge now to amongst yourselves, see if you can tell one another what those verses were. Off you go. So those verses are all about loving God and loving one another. And one way that can help us to do that each day is to every day actually remember to start by giving thanks to God. Because as we start thanking God, we remember, oh yeah, your love is amazing. I say, God, I thank you for you love me, you care about me, you've made me your child in your family. 
So we're going to end our time together by reminding ourselves to give thanks to the Lord. And this is from Psalm 106 verse 1. So let's give thanks to the Lord for he is good and his steadfast love endures forever. pray as we finish. Father God, I thank you for your steadfast love, your love that goes on and on and on forever. Thank you that you love us and may we love you and one another this coming week and this coming year. In Jesus' name, Amen. Okay, everyone, well, I'll see you next time. Have a wonderful week. Bye-bye.